That's right. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for being with us on this Thursday, November 22nd. I'm Kieran Chetri. Good morning to you. I'm John Roberts. We begin today in a struggle overseas. Asian markets dip sharply in volatile trading before closing slightly up. Now, all of that happening in reaction to the Dow's big plunge, hitting a seven month low on Wednesday. The culprit, the credit crunch, and oil just shy of $100 a barrel. Ali Vell, she's at the business update desk with more on that this morning. Welcome back. Certainly don't have any good news to bring us on this Thanksgiving. No, uh, sadly. Wow, well, getting a lot of folks ready to do some post Thanksgiving shopping tomorrow. Black Friday, traditionally a day of hope for retailers who want to try to bring their year end profit margins out of the red and into the black. Many chains like Kohl's and JCPenney are opening their stores as early as 4 a.m., hoping to lure customers by offering sale prices that are only good for the first few hours. Analysts say retailers should not bank, though, on deep holiday discounts after the weakest fall shopping season in a decade. They say retailers should be working on a recovery. Recovery plan for 2008. Well, they're cheering in Whoville this morning. Dr. Seuss's childhood favorite, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, is now back on Broadway. A Manhattan judge ordering everyone back to work, saying, quote, I think one Grinch in this town is enough. The theater's owners were forced to reopen the doors despite the ongoing stagehand strike. The producers of the show say they got their, quote, miracle on 44th Street. Mm -hmm. The Grinch returns to Broadway with an 11 a.m. show tomorrow. So John? Mary Lou, who will have a Christmas That's after all? Time to check in with nightmare actually hasn't been all that bad thanks to pretty decent weather across much of the country. John? Of course, I